I want him to take the time out from his busy schedule to give us a, a, a piece. I'm going to introduce you real quick. Just want to introduce it so you guys know who you, who's speaking in front of you. We got Professor James Smalls from Hidden Colors. He's one of our historians. He, go, he, he lectures all over the world teaching African spirituality and history uh, all over, you know. And he goes to Africa and do ceremonies. He has a business in Africa as well, so he's doing the doggone thing, you know, and making those relationships and mending those relationships. He was here last night uh, doing a lecture at Cleveland State. I brought him in, uh, African spirituality and concepts and its influence on Freemasonry. That was the topic last night. So it's a wealth of knowledge. So while we're here, after you speak for a few minutes, uh, you, you want to maybe talk to him a little bit uh, uh, about some history historical stuff he can he's his his uh, I guess his concepts is unlimited so Professor James Small yeah. thank you yeah. Brother Land yeah. and the Association yeah. of African American Cultural Gardens and the, the, the I met the uh, architect and this is an extraordinary monument there he is the statement you've made is so historically accurate spiritually on point you know, Juneteenth is one of our most significant day. And yesterday I was on a radio station in uh, uh, Las Vegas because some people were asking, why we have to celebrate this? Why are you celebrating Juneteenth? So I said, why do you celebrate the 4th of July? You know, the 4th of July is when America got free out of colonial slavery from Britain. And so we let the world know we'll never forget it. Why do you celebrate Passover? Passover is when the Jews got freed from slavery in Egypt. So Juneteenth is when we realize our freedom from slavery in North America. So as those days are great moments to celebrate, this is our greatest moment to celebrate our ancestors and their triumph, you know. And we must, even uh, General Granger, he could have done what others had done. They knew for years slavery was over and didn't tell our people. But Granger came into Galveston with 2,000 soldiers to back him up, and he put it down. And the brothers and sisters immediately knew this was time for jubilation. We're done with this. And as extraordinary a people as we are, and I always tell people, in the next 100 years, we created, coming right out of slavery, after Juneteenth, we created... Uh, from 16, 1865 to 1929, 50 banks, 100 insurance company, 1,000 credit union, and a couple of thousand schools walking out of slavery. That's extraordinary, people. That's extraordinary. And so we should always celebrate Juneteenth. It should be one of our highest holidays to remember the end of our Holocaust and the beginning of our rebuilding our lives. So thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Let's get another round of applause for Professor Small. Oh, yeah.